Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all how to make the softest and the best whole wheat doubles bar ever. So to make this, we're gonna start with some flour. Now I like using the King Arthur flour for this and we have to add flour because whole wheat flour doesn't contain any gluten and it's not going to give you a nice um, doubled bar in the end. And I'm going to go in with one cup of that whole wheat flour and I'm also using the King Arthur brand. I prefer using King Arthur when making doubles. I'm going to go in with baking powder and yeast and all of the measurements will be listed down below so I'm just gonna give this a mix I want to make sure that everything is well incorporated and now I'm going to go in with lukewarm water and when you pour in the water you're gonna pour a little at a time and mix with your hands to bring together and you can also use a squeezing motion to help you bring it together put it aside once it feels like a soft to medium dough continue adding some more liquid kneading as you go so now that it has come together I'm going to go in with a little bit of dry flour and I want to knead this so that the gluten forms because you want a really nice bar so you have to knead it for about three to five minutes it's a little bit of flour so it's not gonna take very long and it will be sticky we're gonna knead it a little bit first and then we'll add some oil and continue so when you're kneading flour, I the way that I like to do it is I like to grab it and squeeze it and turn it. Grab and squeeze and turn. Now to this I'm going to go in with a drizzle of oil and I like using vegetable oil for this. And I'm just going to pat it on both sides. I'm going to cover this with a plastic wrap and allow it to sit for about 15 to 20 minutes until it has doubled in size. So my barra dough is finished resting. I'm just gonna grease my hands with a little oil and I'm going to break this into small dough balls. And I like to lift and pick up and squeeze. When you do it this way, you get really nice round dough balls. And this is what you're looking for. So I'm gonna place it on my counter and continue breaking the rest. Okay, what I'm going to do is cover half of the dough balls. That would be just to protect it so that it doesn't dry out because we're going to start to open out this first set. And you want to oil your fingertips and oil the counter, your work surface you're going to be opening it out on. And you're going to take the dough balls and press them open as thin as possible. Now I like opening out a few before starting to fry. Now we're going to pick up our bar. Be very careful. You don't want to rip it or burst it. This is going to go into the hot oil. It's not gonna take very long to cook. The bar cooks up really quickly. And that's it. The first one is finished. So I'm gonna continue. and keep them nice and soft and before I cover let me show you guys the bar is really really soft super super soft but they're very hot at this point in time so you see how nice they are so I'm gonna cover it with a paper towel 
It's also gonna help soak up some of that excess oil and then cover it with this to keep it nice and warm.